my take on it is you are pressing something in a slow motion to affect pressure on it without breaking it. So if I want to press a joint to affect a joint lock and cause uh, pain compliance, then pressing works very well. If I want to destroy the joint, I do the same motion, but just quicker. Okay, and then the joint pops. Okay, so the first, uh, we'll look at the first technique. Okay, so Jack's going to grab me in a lapel grab. Okay, again, I need to worry about this hand here. So I need to distract him in some way. So what I'm going to do is, in this occasion, I'm going to flick him in the balls. All right? Then I take my hand and I bring it across here. I put my thumb into the web of the hand there and press into the, the V shape where the uh, thumb meets the end of the next finger. Uh, and press into it. Now there are little tiny pressure points in there that can cause um, some kind of discomfort. But I mean, I would, uh, I would hasten to warn you that um, if an aggressive opponent is intent on doing you damage, I don't think that the slight discomfort from that pressure point is going to cause much, um, m much of an impediment. However, it is a useful place uh, for maximum amount of uh, leverage. So we press here and we hook our fingers around the back of the hand here and that's really the best place to uh, secure um, a good grip on the whole hand. So I press in here and I bring this around here and I step and that turns his hand. Okay? It's not my hand against his hand, I secure this and I turn my body and the turning of it turns his arm. I then take this hand here and I place it on the back of his elbow. Then because I don't want to destroy his joint but I do want to take him down, I'm going to step my front foot and I'm going to press down nice and slowly while anchoring this up here. Okay. Immediately I'm going to step in and put my knee into his shoulder blade. Now I've still got this here, I can deviate his wrist and cause him pain to tap or I can pressure on his back of his arm there like that. Or just like in Chain or Kodang, I can simply step long and punch him in the head. Step back and disengage. 